We have yet again another highly requested Christmas video from you all. Shout out to our channel member Caleb Halliday for the video idea along with a bunch of you guys also requesting us to rank Christmas themed characters. Thank you all for the support on our Christmas videos and if you guys missed our other Christmas videos, uh, check them out in the description. We ranked Christmas songs, Christmas movies, Christmas presents and cookies. You don't want to miss out on all of those videos. Oh, one more thing. Over 60% of you guys watching right now are actually not even subscribed. You may be a new viewer, and if you are, thank you. And if you are new, subscribe so you don't miss out on our videos and so you can help us reach 100,000 subscribers. Well, with all that said, let's get started ranking some iconic Christmas-themed characters. Let's go! Just know that we're going to forget a lot of characters, so don't be alarmed when you don't see your favorite Christmas characters in this video. First up, we got Santa Claus which you obviously can't have Christmas without the jolly fat man himself. I want to sit on Santa's lap and tell him what I want for Christmas. Get the hell out of here with that bullcrap, Joseph. You're 81 years old and the only thing you should be sitting on is the toilet. Hey, I don't need the toilet since I have my triple extra padded diapers on. What's up, Santa? H how are we feeling that Christmas is in a few days? Uh, I don't really care much. Wow, you're really not delivering presents this year, huh? That's now Brian and Stewie's job since I'm undergoing my new operation. You may see me in the skies on Christmas night. Night, but I'm not dropping down house to house delivering hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of PS5s, Xboxes, and iPhones. Looks like Santa Claus is a washed up folklore. He can't even be considered Santa if he's not delivering presents. Washed up? Ha! My net worth is ten times higher than yours, buddy. Probably even more since I lost count with how much money I rake in. I highly doubt that. Now tell me, do you actually know when people are sleeping? Do you know when they're awake? And do you know who's been bad or good? Because that all sounds really weird and an absurd invasion of privacy. Uh, I don't really mind it. I see all people! It's not an invasion of privacy. My lawyer, Mr. Goodman, already has me covered on that, so I'm allowed to stalk whoever and whenever I want since I'm Santa Claus, God damn it! Please come to my house on Christmas night, Santa. I'll leave my door wide open for you. I'll probably end up going to your house to take a dump, so make sure you got extra toilet paper in your bathroom, or I'll end up blasting chocolate stains all over your walls, like how Harry did in Dumb and Dumber. Santa Claus doesn't go in people's houses to go poop. Well, this Santa sure as hell does. Uh-oh, mowed down one cookie too many. Code brown, people! Oh, phenomenal. Ah, oh, and splashback! Dead of winter, East Coast midnight toilet splashback! It's like crapping into an overturned igloo! Nah, bro, that's gonna bump you a tear down. Huh? I'm literally the main attraction for Christmas, you coward. Everybody just loves me and begs me to give them all the presents they want. Nobody ever asked you to give them any presents in the toilet, though. You don't know a damn thing of what it takes to be me. You expect me to loop around the entire earth on Christmas without taking a single crap? I'm putting myself in the god tier since I don't need another man to rate me. Whatever, I guess you got a point. Please deliver presents again. Please, Santa. Hell no! Do you not realize how preparing millions of gifts has obliterated my mental health? The moment a kid opens a present on Christmas, they want the next present, the next cool thing that's even more expensive. How do you expect us to make a VR headset or build an Xbox? We just steal that crap from Walmart and act like the elves made it! You thief! I respect the hustle, Santa. Only in Joe Biden's presidency where this would happen. That still doesn't give you the right to steal what's not yours. What am I supposed to do? Those little shits, they just demand, they don't believe, they just want, crave, and consume. Now can we please shut the fuck up before I have an aneurysm? But what about Frosty the Snowman? He's super cool, and I mean that literally and figuratively. Frosty is a super happy and jolly soul. Nope. All Frosty is is a pile of snow that needs to be plowed. Hey, stop being mean to Frosty. When you really think about it, Frosty the Snowman is useless without the hat that gives him life. Take that hat away, and Donny boy has a valid point. Oh, come on, have a soul, why don't you? Give me two bottles of whiskey and I'll call it even. No! We're not fueling your alcohol addiction. Then you better watch out for your farm, Mr. Towers, but you didn't hear that from me. You pest. Don't you dare. I don't like you anymore, Santa. I don't care, quite frankly. Now moving on. Frosty deserves to go in the mid-tier. Nothing more, nothing less. Nah, Donnie, you can't just do that to such a beloved Christmas icon. I'm gonna put Frosty in the goaded tier at the very least. Now don't even get me started on Rudolph. He's been a nightmare with an attitude lately, and he's been eating a lot of processed fast food, so he's not my fastest reindeer anymore. He's useless! Oh, really? Talking all the crap when I'm not around? You are by far the dumbest, most pathetic piece of maggot-eating shit that has ever slid from a human being's hairy butt. You're an emotional cripple. Your soul is 
dog shit, and every single thing about you is ugly. You're an actual disappointment to your mother and father, you Bambi-looking ass. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm out! What just happened? Uh, that was awkward. No way a reindeer just put Santa Claus in his place. Where did you even learn those words, Rudolph? From playing a lot of Call of Duty and Fortnite. People can be real toxic towards me because of the way I sound. They call me a squeaker. Yeah, you do sound like a weakling. Don't say that about Rudolph. Everything about Rudolph is amazing. Out of all the reindeer, Rudolph is definitely the most recognizable and popular one with that bright red nose. I feel like Rudolph's story conveys a really good message as well. It encourages you to be yourself despite being the odd one out. All the reindeer that made fun of me are some real chumps, but they got what they deserved after I taught them a lesson. I can admit that your animated special was a classic and you can't go a single Christmas without hearing your name. So I guess I'll put you in the God tier. That was the only answer from the very beginning. Any other funny answer, and I would have flown to your house and blinded you with my red nose. Ebenezer Scrooge is next up, and he reminds me of Donnie. Nah, Donald is way worse, since Scrooge at least had a change of heart, unlike Spray Tan Man over here. I am not taking no disrespect from a filthy wild animal. Bye, loser! You are so mean to Rudolph. You shouldn't have kicked him. We're in the middle of a tier list. We don't need any distractions. Back to Scrooge. He's a miserly, cold-hearted, wealthy, selfish old man who has little regard for the well-being of others. I don't know what Rudolph was on about saying I'm worse than Scrooge. I've given millions upon millions of dollars away to charities and families. All those millions and billions of dollars, and you haven't gave nothing to me. Oh, well, Joey, you got to get your bread up, man. But Scrooge does go through a transformative experience, redeeming his selfish ways, because he was visited by the ghost of Christmas that ended up showing him how selfish he was. So, yeah, it goes to show how it's never too late for somebody to change their old ways, and that confronting your problems face on lifts that mask off, revealing the new you. Maybe I can learn a thing or two from Scrooge, but I'll think about it. Honestly, I think Scrooge is a goaded Christmas character since he teaches everybody a good lesson. Next up, we have a green, smelly monster to rank. You don't gotta do the Grinch dirty like that, bro. Jim Carrey's Grinch movie was phenomenal. Everything about his performance was memorable and hilarious to watch. Like I said before, I don't understand the hype around this movie. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. That movie is amazing and the Grinch is a tremendous character. The Grinch can suck my small dick. I'm not coming anywhere near you, you geezer. Good, because you're as worse as the bubonic plague. Bitch, you were born when the bubonic plague existed. Ah! Shut up, shut up, shut up. Now what the hell is going on in here? We're ranking Christmas characters and we're talking about you right now. You down to help us, Grinch? I will, but under one condition. And what's that? That I put myself in the God tier. I mean, you were gonna go there anyway, so yeah, go ahead. What? I thought you guys hated me. That's only Joey, but we love you, Mr. Grinch. Wow, are you guys going to replace me with the Grinch? We might as well at this point. No, we ain't replacing anybody. Let's get back to the tier list with Jack Frost being the next character. Uh, Jack who? Jack Frost nips at your noses and toes during Christmas. Honestly, I don't think there's really a good version of Jack Frost out there. Even Michael Keaton's version is lackluster and not that exciting. I'm clearly better than Jack in every way. I'm putting him in the mid-tier. Oh, yes, it's Buddy the Elf. Buddy the Elf? Oh, no. Buddy is annoying and not a good character character at all. Hey, that's not nice. What did I ever do to you? Exist. That's messed up. Be nice to him. Buddy the Elf is the true essence of the Christmas spirit and the things he does in his movie is hilarious. But I thought I was better. What could this seven foot elf do better than me? Oh no, is that the Grinch? Santa has told me all about you and even told me that you're on the naughty list. Good. I don't care quite frankly since I'll ruin Christmas again and again. You better stop. Don't say that. Will you shut up? Guys, please don't fight. Both of you just help us with this tier list. Buddy, you deserve to be in the God tier since almost Everybody loves you. And that's why you're my favorite, Mr. Bush! Moving on are the three ghosts of Christmas. There's the ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, and the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Ghosts! Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. But but ghosts aren't real, right? Yeah, ghosts are obviously fake news. No, they ain't, Donnie. Some ghosts are real, and some others are folklore like these ones. Ghosts are real, buddy. You gotta be careful for them, or else they'll eat you. What? Oh, no, no! Please don't eat me! I want my mommy! Oh, darn it! I was just joking. Come on! Buddy. Well, back to the list. There's been many different versions of these ghosts of Christmas in movies, and each of them teach you a very valuable lesson. I think the idea is cool, but they don't really scream Christmas to me. I'm going to put them in the mid-tier, and moving on is John McClane from Die Hard. Tremendous! John McClane is an unstoppable force to be reckoned with and is a true American hero. But the thing is, when you think of Christmas characters, nobody's first thought is John McClane. Yeah, he's just a random... Oh, look who's talking. I thought Die Hard was a pretty solid movie, and you really can't call his 
performance bad, so I'm just going to put him in the good tier. Kevin McAllister is the next Christmas character, and I think we already know what tier he's going on. That little squirt somehow has more power and strength than those dumb bandits. Ain't no way a kid can single-handedly manhandle two grown men. It's really not likely, but it sure as hell very entertaining watching him set up and use all those traps. He could have just called the cops to make his life easier, but Kevin just went all out, and for that, he's going in the god tier. Next up are those stupid wet bandits he almost murdered. I think they're pretty smart, though. If I was a thief, I would scout all the rich neighborhoods to see which families would be out for Christmas. That's the only comprehensive thing they did. But other than that, everything else they did was more brain dead than you, Joseph. But that's the beauty of them both. They're an iconic duo. You can't have the wet bandits without Kevin McAllister and Kevin McAllister without the wet bandits. I'm going to put them in the goaded tier since I like Kevin McAllister more. Now, what do we think about Clark Griswold boys? He's not necessarily a Christmas character, though. Technically, he can be considered one because of his Christmas movie, but he really isn't known as a Christmas character. He's a family man just like me. Clark is a funny character, but nowhere near goaded or god tier. Good tier it is for Clark. And next up, we have Bad Santa. His real name is Willie, and he's an alcoholic thief dressed up as Santa Claus at the mall. He may sound lame, but he's way more than that. The way he acts and carries himself will have you die of laughter. He absolutely hates his life and hates himself and hates everybody. That doesn't sound good. That's not how Santa is supposed to be. He's called Bad Santa for a reason, and his movies are worth the watch and laugh since he's a goaded character. Now put Jack Skellington in the awful tears since he's a loser. Whoa, whoa there, Donnie. Are you serious? Jack is kind of scary looking. I don't like him. Even though some of us aren't a fan of the movie, it doesn't mean Jack is a bad character. Then tell me what's so special about him? The fact that he sings every dying minute? Yeah, no, that's annoying. Nah, I think Jack is so cool. I love watching his movie with Laura. I don't care what you guys say, I'm gonna put him in the good tier. Oh no, even scarier, it's Krampus. Krampus is our last character to rank and all of his movies sucked, but the character itself can be pretty cool. Cool? What? Krampus will eat your soul and steal your presence. I don't know, man. If I saw Krampus on top of the roof or in the distance, I would sharp myself partner. Krampus is one unsettling looking creature, but there really hasn't been a good movie portraying him. And for that, he's going in the mid tier and that's the entire Christmas character tier list. And now it's time for member shout outs. Shout out to a Melvin Tanks in Minimenter 17, Brown Sugar, Peanuts Fan 1000, Hamster World, Cooley 21, Will Zoller. I don't know and I don't know. KG, the MCM, Spinel Gym, Fox Ate My Dinner, Daniel's Weather Space Station, Makoto 13, Christy Hayes, Joe Biden is Stinky Trump 24, Jolchin 1864, Johnny Snake Shoulders, Droids 115, Antonio Ponte, Epic Blabbit, Josephine Willis, this user was taken, Ray the Awesome Dude, Jeffrey Epstein, Obama Rama, Mike O'Morin, your average Dragon Ball Z fan, Camden, Thomas Hilberg, Caleb Halliday, Albert Muhair, Melanie L. Rod, Captain Skull 866, Lee Birch, Maximilian Plays, Kyle Warwick Matthew, a parrot, Arrow 73, and Mr. Fatty Tyrone for becoming our phenomenal channel members. More shout outs to Arapentidos y Convertidos, Zardka, Damar Hamlin, Hunter Thompson, Supreme Quacks, Jaguar Stonepaw, The Moa Mechanic, Joshua O'Malley, Ether, Anthony VR, Nikolai FR, Money Dynamic Matanya, Otto Von Bismarck, Star Brother, Darth Vader vs. Luke Skywalker, Sox, CTG, CA, Connor the Gamer, a normal green slime and archangel, 98 for going above and beyond by becoming our beautiful channel members. Even more shout outs to Bloody Red. Gaming Dragon, Quick Scope Cooper, Prince Glenn Moore and Infinite, Animations Guy, Winter SRF, Nostalgia Network, Bunny Garden, Smelly Boomer, Brandon Ayala, Amper Sandler, Amonlude, Gabe Dudas 2, Alpha Diamond, Joe V 1998, Ballsack, Dominic Camise, Late Blanket 5591, Presidents, Discord Chats, and V Ricochet for being the best channel members. And finally, shout outs to the outstanding Mevins, 2001, Fabian Moans, Jordan Arnes, Finn Akers, The Gilder 7111, Media Fan 50, Koishi Servant, Adamanti Masari, Spectre, and last but not least, Alex Ovando. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday.